Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Cammie's Corner. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back. On my channel, we do mainly fragrance and Bath & Body Works content, which is a sprinkle of Disney and lifestyle content. But in today's video, we have an epic fragrance haul. This is just a collective haul. We've got some PR packages, which is super, super fun. And yeah, just some like random packages that I want to show you. We have perfumes, a candle, and yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. But yeah, if you're just stumbling upon my channel, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. We're inching super, super close to 3,000 subscribers. And when we hit 3,000 subscribers, I will be doing two different prize packs, Bath & Body Works prize packs. So Stay tuned up for that, but I don't even know where to start. Okay, I think the first thing we're gonna start off with, if you are unfamiliar, there's an app called Influencer. Anyone can sign up for it. You do surveys, you review products, and you get products sent for you, sent to you for free. And I got a Fenty perfume. How cool is that? So this is the Fenty, I think it's just called the Fenty Ude Perf Parfum. I think that's literally what it's called. It came in this fancy blue box. This smells amazing. You guys probably already saw it on Instagram, but I am in love with this. The packaging is kind of boring, if I'm going to be honest. But I do like the um, pat, uh, the top, and it's got like the little logo. And the color is pretty. It's like an ambery color, um, but it is kind of boring a little bit. But this one, oh, and it also says Fenty around it. I'll throw up the scent notes on the screen. But if I remember correctly, it's super deep. It's super musky. This is not a scent for everyone. This is not a safe buy if you want to try this one, smell it before you buy it. But I love it. It's super musky and you get a little, little hint of like a tangerine note. Very, very little. This baby is strong. This is so strong. When I reviewed it on my Instagram and my influencer, I put it right here. And literally four hours later, I could still smell it. And I sprayed it like twice. Super crazy. But yeah. Here we go, we have the Fenty Perfume. This one smells yummy, but please, please smell it before you buy it because I feel like this is definitely not a scent for everyone. I know this is pricey. I'll throw up the Sephora listing. I'm pretty sure this was pricey. So I'm so beyond thankful. I've gotten two perfumes, no, three perfumes. I've gotten three perfumes from Influencer for completely free. I got this one, I got the Mugler Angel Elixir in the full size, and then I got, what is it, Beach Walk by replica in like this size. It wasn't the biggest size, it was the second size down. But still, it was free, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so um, the other thing I got, I paid for this, um, but this is a Mimic. Uh, Mimic, if you're watching, I would love you for you to send me PR. I love your fragrances. This is a dupe fragrance brand, and this is Mimic number 31. I don't remember what this is a dupe of. I'll throw it up on the screen, um, but this was $19.99. Honestly, 90% of the time, I've never smelled the real one, so I'm not like the best for comparisons, but these last a really long time, and I think $20 for 100 milliliters is really awesome. So this is a blend of woody cocoa vanilla. And if you guys want a video of my collection, let me know. I am a little like my, I don't know. I'm a little fuming about it because these used to be $12.99 and now they're $19.99, but they're still worth it because on their website, they're about 60 bucks. So this one smells super, super delicious. Oh, I love this so much. I have no idea what this is a dupe of. I couldn't even tell you. But it's just all so good. It definitely has like a cocoa note. And I'm not like someone who likes a ton of gourmands. But like this smells like chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. So if you ever see 31 at TJ Maxx, I would recommend picking it up. And I think these last a really long time. I know people have found at TJ Maxx, they have a hair and body mist, the perfume. And then I found the body oil, which I love. I only found two of them. And I've never found any since. But yeah, I wish I had a discount code for you guys for Mimic or if they had like an affiliate program, I would join it. But if you see these at TJ Maxx, I would definitely recommend them. I'm sorry if you hear Miss Dolly. She is barking. She's downstairs with my hubby in the airplane. But yeah, anyways, moving on. The next package we have is not PR per se, but 
This is from Kingfisher Grooming and I I'm going to do a whole video where I review it and maybe I'll get my hubby to join along. I know I bought this stuff a long time ago. You probably saw it on my Instagram, but this is a brand. I believe it is owned by Scent Theory. But anyways, it is like a men's targeted line. Of course, anyone can use it, but it's like targeted at like the hardworking man in your life, which is my hubby. He's super hardworking. Um, he works in construction. He is a tunneling machine operator and he works very, very hard. And he was super thrilled about this collection. So they had a contest that was like submit a picture um, showing that you're hardworking or whatever, right? He didn't win, which is fine. But I was surprised to see this at our door. Okay, so I opened it. Wrong thing. <laughs> so I opened it and there's a note in products in here. And it says, thank you for entering the Kingfisher Grooming Hardest Working Man Photo Contest. We were thrilled by the number of entries we received, each one creative and inspiring in its own way. Ultimately, your submission was not chosen, but we loved seeing your grit. Please accept this box of goodies on us as our way of saying thank you. What company, when you lose a giveaway or a contest, they still send you something anyway. They're amazing. Um, follow them on Instagram. You can find them in Walmart. And my husband hasn't tried any of the products yet because I'm holding them hostage for a video. But he's excited to use them and we have smelled them already but let me just show you what they sent over so they sent over this cutie king and fisher grooming co hat i'm gonna steal this this is absolutely adorable then they sent over this cutie little tote bag with their logo i love their logo super fun and then they sent over a body care product and this one smells delicious this is one of their body washes it says rich invigorating lather for hard-working men which is definitely my hubby and this is in the scent smoky mountain and vanilla i don't want to like spoil that video that'll come out probably in a month because i have so many videos i need to film this is one of my favorite scents so this is a deep hydrating hydrating aloe formula and it is a warm and woody scent with odor controlling technology super fun so it says inspired by the hardworking men of small cities and towns like kingfisher oklahoma this powerful body wash works hard to wash away dirt oil and odor with a bold manly scent and a thick rich lather this formula is built to clean even the dirtiest of men i love the packaging it is so pretty it's so sleek it looks super bougie and i love how it's got a pump that is super nice in a shower gel when there is a pump oh this smells so good I would use this on myself. It is definitely a smoky vanilla. Super nice. Shout out to Kingfisher for sending my husband a prize, even though he didn't win the giveaway. Okay, now we are in the traditional PR. I have collabed with a few companies through Shopify, and I have gotten PR from three companies, which is so crazy. So this one I have not really talked about yet. I have posted on my Instagram, on my story, but I haven't talked about it. So this was from Mason D. Orient. I will post on the screen of their logo. And it says Opulent Choices. And I believe this is like a company that sells like Arabian perfumes, which is super fun. So they sent me a little box of goodies. Look at that. The packaging is super cute. There are three things, three perfume oils, a little discovery scent and something in here. So I do have a discount code. I will link that down in the description below. I will earn a commission, a slight commission on your purchase, on their purchase. If you purchase using my discount code, no pressure at all. But if you're like, oh, I've always wanted to try those out, then now you have a little bit of a discount code. Um, there are always discount codes in my description below. You are never, ever, ever, ever pressured to use them. But if you wanna save a little bit on your purchase and help me out just a tiny bit, you can always use those codes. This discovery set, I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. Um, but this is a little discovery scent of some of their perfumes and it says an aura of purity. And they gave me a little cheat sheet with the scent notes. So this is the set J, which this is the unisex ouds and musks soft sweet set. So I'm excited to go through these. I do have the notes and it tells you that if you rush through them, the scents will all smell the same. 
So we'll go through this first one, which this is sample number 46, which is the Kalis Al Malachi Majestic. I will, of course, put that on the screen because I have no idea if I pronounced that right. So let's give it a sniff. I don't have the scent notes though, so. Ooh. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh, I like that. This is not something I would normally pick. It's definitely got like a very like musky note. Maybe a little bit of like a tobacco type note or like suede or something. This is not a scent I would normally pick, but this is pretty nice. So this is sample number 46. I will put scent notes up on the screen if I can find them. And then the next one we have is sample number 47. And this one is called, oh goodness, <laughs> Jawad Al Lil Gold. <laughs> I will put the names on the screen. I, I apologize. Okay, so let's give this one a smell. Oops. There we go. That one's not my favorite to me. That one's not my favorite. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get my computer so I can look up some scent notes because I can't really tell what this smells like, but I'll bring Okay, in the midst of me getting up and getting my computer, I lost the sample, but it's on this arm. And this one says it has notes of florals and pineapple with rose, patchouli, amber, and musk. And I think it was that that note of pineapple when it first went on my skin, it like smelled a little sour. Not in like a bad way, but it was just kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was just kind of like, it just kind of like hit me. But now it smells pretty nice. I still think I like this first one better, which let me look that up and get you some scent notes for that. That is the Callus Al Malachi Majestic. I know I'm pronouncing this wrong. Maybe it's Kali. Kali's Al Mal. Mal. Ikai Majestic. Um, scent notes. And I will have them linked down in the description below, of course. Ooh, this is a delicious note of caramel with candy deep sensual rich creamy buttery lactonic with vanilla i did not get that at all i'm gonna be honest oh you know what it's got auger wood in it it's got to be that auger wood i am getting a little bit of like a vanilla but it's not super strong like not a super strong vanilla it's, i feel like this is more of a musky scent to me what do i know though okay the next one we have is sample number 48 which this is just Kali's musk so I'm assuming this is just going to have scent notes of musk, but I'm going to look it up for you guys. Scent notes. Okay. And I'm wrong. This is orange pear, green apple, strawberry freesia, jasmine with base notes of cedar wood, vanilla, amber, and musk. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to put it on a different spot on my arm. I'm going to give it a second to dry down because I do notice the scent changing a little bit as it dries down. Okay. Oh, that is good. This one's my favorite so far. Ooh, this one's nice. Yeah, it's definitely a very heavy amber musky scent. I don't get a ton of the orange, the pear, and the green apple. Those are just the top notes, though. So, ooh, you know what? I'm getting the freesia and the jasmine. Not too much of a fruity note, though. This is definitely more of a musky scent, but I do really like that. Oh, I found my other sample. I found my other sample. Okay, so the second to last one we have is the Raut Al Oud scent notes. I will still put the pictures on the screen because the bottles are really pretty. So this is saffron, raspberry, um, rose, patchouli, geranium, amber, leather, cedar, and auger wood. Put this on, on my shoulder up here. Okay, let it dry a little bit. Oh yeah, that is a strong leather. That is a strong leather. This is not the scent for me. But if you're someone who likes that leather note, like if you want to smell like a new car, I would get this one. Yeah, this one's not for me, but it's nice. It's nice. Not for me though. Not for me. And then the last one we have here is the Oud Khalifa. The jars are super pretty. Ooh, okay. So this one sounds like one I would like. This is Mandarin Bergamot um yeah mandarin sorry mandarin bergamot jasmine rose peach vanilla sandalwood and sugar this sounds like one i would like a lot yep i like this one this one is super sugary Ooh, that wood note a sugar wood 
is super nice. I also do get like a hint of like a musky like leather kind of scent, but this is sweeter than the one I just showed you. Ooh, this one's nice. So again, this is sample number 50. I will um, try to list some of the perfumes down in the description below, at least from this little sample box. Okay, those were super fun. I can't wait to use these. So now we have three boxes of fragrances. So these are concentrated perfume oils. And this one says, this is what the box looks like. It says, if Kalis Al Riyad. So I'm going to look that up because I don't know what that means. This sounds like one I would like. Ooh. Okay, and the packaging is really pretty because these are perfume oils. So that's what it looks like. This says... It is an all-day winter, spring, and fall fragrance, a fruity floral. It says, for modern women who enjoy excellence, and it's a suitable for any occasion. And let's see here. It's got floral, black currant, freesia. Oh, okay. This is nice. Oh, I like this. And it is in like a little rollerball, which I actually like the rollerballs. Oh, ooh, this is nice. I think it's a like freesia no. It's, it smells a little sweet to me. Yeah, it says the initial sweet notes of black currant will wrap you around their finger. It has notes of rose, patchouli, vanilla. It does have vanilla in here. Oh, yeah, I can definitely smell that patchouli vanilla. This is very nice. This is definitely my favorite one so far. This is just the If fragrance is what it's called. The next one we have is this packaging. This is the Aziz. It says it's unisex, but it leads more masculine. It has grapefruit, pink pepper, lemon, mandarin, lavender, geranium, magnolia, patchouli, musk, leather, tonka, woody, and amber. This packaging is so pretty. These are just going to be so cute to put in my perfume tray. And again, this is another rollerball. Put it over here. Let's wait a second to let it kind of dry down and give it a smell. Oh, yeah. This is, oh, that pink pepper. You can really smell the pink pepper leathery scent. No, this is not the scent for me, but I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it. Yeah, I think I like that if one a lot better. And as it's drying down, it's getting a lot fruitier. So I really like that. And then the last one we have is this Legacy Silver, which is based on the packaging. I'm assuming this is more of a manly scent. It says it's unisex, actually. And it says it says moderate projection that lasts eight hours. Wow. Okay. It says it leans slightly more masculine. A woman can easily wear this fragrance with confidence and style. See, we don't genderize a fragrance on this channel. You can wear whatever the heck you want. Um, but this is, ooh, it says it kind of smells like a cigar box or a crackling campfire. Ooh, okay. So this is very simple. This is lemongrass, cedarwood, and musk. And that's it. So this is the bottle. These are going to look so fun next to each other. Again, another rollerball. So we'll do in a spot. I haven't put one yet. Ooh. Ooh. This kind of gives vibes of like at the, or by the fireplace by replica, but more of like a woody, like musky kind of scent, if that makes sense. Not my favorite. So let me rank these. I think my least favorite is this one. Then we have this one. And then this if is my favorite. So yeah, shout out to Mason D. Orient. Um, I will have them linked down in the description below. And if you do use my code and purchase, I do get a little bit of a kickback, but there's never pressure to use my code. Then two more things. We have a candle from Homeworks. Yes, Homeworks. I am part of their like Shopify influencer. And they sent me a single candle, which I'm so grateful for. And I am ready to review this bad boy. So their packaging, first off, is so good. Look at that. No broken candles here. So these are, a, this is a four wick candle. Look at that packaging. It's so pretty. So this is a four wick candle called Tiare Mango or Tiare Mango. I'm not I'm not 100% how to pronounce that, but this is Tiare Flower, Tropical Mango, Minoy Petals, and Sea Salted Driftwood. So again, I was gifted this by Homeworks, so shout out Homeworks. I have my link down in the description below. A few of you guys have actually already used my discount code, and I have earned commissions, so thank you guys so, so much. That link will always be there in the description below. So these are four wick candles. I've burned two Homeworks candles so far, and I have loved both of them. They've both been medium plus throwers, so it comes with with the um, little wick saver type thing so they don't bend. Oh, this is yummy. This to me 
smells like a mango colada. Like a pina colada, but like mango instead. You can really smell a floral note in here. It's very nice. It's not super strong. I will say it's like a 5 out of 10 on cold. But I'm excited to burn it and give it a try. And they do have four wicks. You can find them on their website, QVC, and sometimes TJ Maxx. But I will have a standalone video showing off this candle and reviewing that. But my discount code will be linked down in the description. And shout out to Homeworks for sending that over my way. And last but certainly not least, we have another PR package. This is from Alt Fragrances. This is another company that I signed up for. They're like influencer like collab through Shopify. And they offered to send me two fragrances. I could pick from any of the scents from their destination collection. Um, I'm going to give you guys some price points because I think these are, from what I remember, they're very inexpensive. I've never tried them before. But this is their destination collection. Um, and I opted for these two because these are what appealed for me. You can get all five perfumes in their collection for $125, which is a great deal. They are vegan, clean, and cruelty free, which is amazing. But there is Capri, Miami Beach, Tokyo, New York City, and Paris. And the two I chose were Capri and um miami beach look at the packaging i'm totally gonna keep these but on the back it says thank you for trusting us to scent your loved ones or surroundings at all we believe that luxury fragrances should be available for all to wear and experience i agree it says we strive to be able to offer you the opportunity of building a fragrance collection full of high-end scents without having to spend hundreds. I love that so much. If not thousands in the process, each bottle of Alt is handcrafted and compounded in Miami, Florida, and it uses um, ingredients of unsurpassed quality so that you can truly smell your best for less. And something I do want to know about these fragrances is they want you to spray them directly on your skin, and it says do not rub the fragrance on skin and it will because it'll alter how the scent smells which usually when I put perfume on I kind of like go like this and go like that you know but apparently you're not supposed to do that with these ones but let me give you the scent notes on these um because there are no scent notes on it but which ones did I get again I got Miami Beach and Capri okay let's see here okay I think this one is the Capri. So we'll start with this one. Yeah, I, I think this one's got to be the Capri based on the picture. Okay, so here is the box and it says your sensory passport to Capri. Look at the packaging. It's so pretty and I love their bottles. They would look very, very cute displayed. And again, I will have a discount code where I earn commission linked down in the description below. Look how cute this packaging is. So, so pretty. And this one is in the scent Capri. This one has notes of lemon apple peach with middle notes of jasmine freesia sandalwood and base notes of cedar amber and musk i was really enticed by the lemon apple and peach scent notes and it is a little sprayer i'm running out of things to spray honestly i'm just gonna spray my cardboard here let it dry oh that is so yummy honestly i've never smelled anything like this before i've never smelled anything like this before it smells so lemony. It is so fresh. I can honestly, like, this is refreshing. This is a refreshing fragrance. And I can really see myself, like, dousing myself in this on a hot summer day. Very, very nice. And I love the packaging. I love when perfumes have fun labels. And then the other one they sent me is the Miami Beach one. So let me open it up so I can show you guys the packaging. Okay, honestly, I might keep these boxes. They're super cute. So here is the Miami Beach packaging, which this is where they're from. So I think that is super cool. They have a scent um, from their, um, yeah, from where they are at. So this one has top notes of aldehyde, ozonic, orange, Middle notes of freesia, jasmine, um, neroli, and base notes of amber patchouli and moss. I'm excited to smell this one. I'm going to put it on the other side of my trusty cardboard. But, ooh! Oh! This is so, like, aquatic smelling. I don't know. Is that what... I'm going to look up what aldehyde is, but this smells, like, aquatic. Ooh! It is also very fresh. All, all de hide. What is that? Let's look it up. Okay. Um, oh, 
Okay, this says it is an air, aromatic aromatic aldehyde is defined as an it says an odor profile of almonds with a waxy lemony floral soapy touch to a perfume so that's exactly what i'm getting i'm getting like a very aquatic clean soapy scent oh i love that oh these are both wins these are both wins in my book so definitely check out alt fragrances down in the description below. I am going to do a little review of these on my Instagram as well. Like a little fun Instagram post. But yeah, that was everything. Shout out to Kingfisher Grooming for sending my hubby a little prize package. Mason D. Orient for sending over some Arabian perfumes. Homeworks for sending me over some candles. Some candle. One candle. And alt fragrance for sending me over two perfumes. I will have all my links down in the description below. And thank you to myself for buying myself this Mimic Perfume Mimic. If you want to send me some PR, I would love to review your scents on my channel. But yeah, that is all for today's video. All these perfumes were definitely a win, plus the candle. Stay tuned. I will have a standalone review video very, very soon. But yeah, that's all for today's video. If you're interested in purchasing from any of these brands, you're more than welcome to use my affiliate code down in the description below. Just know that I do earn a tiny bit of commission on each purchase. If you like seeing my face, Disney, or Bath Moderics content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you. Helps me out so, so much. And you guys can always change your mind later. Thanks again, you guys, for watching today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.